welcome and let's get started. Let's start making this daisy. We will begin with a magic ring. Insert your hook, pull up a loop, and do a chain. That's your magic ring. We will put 10 single crochet in the ring. We can then pull snug. Let's slip stitch to join in the top of the first single crochet. Your first round will be 10 stitches. We can then chain one and start in the first stitch. We will put one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochet in the next. And we will repeat this all the way around until we have 15 single crochet. To join, we're going to cut the yarn and close with an invisible stitch. With the darning needle, we're going to insert our needle into the second single crochet. So not the chain, not the first one, but right here into the second single crochet. We will then go back down into our last stitch and now we have created an extra stitch, but you will still have 15 stitches all the way around. We can weave in both ends of the center of our little daisy. We will now bring in our new color to do the petals for the daisy. Let's start with a slip knot. Insert your hook and draw up the yarn. We will then chain five. For row one, we will be working in the back bump. So that's that little loop on the back of the chain. 
We will start in the very first one here. It can be kind of tricky, so just get your hook and insert it into that little back bump, and we will pull up a loop. We will do this for each chain, so you will be doing it five times. So that was number four, and the last one here, number five. You will then insert your hook into the same stitch and pull up one more loop. You should now have seven loops on the hook. We will then yarn over and pull through two. We're going to do this six times. Starting row two, we will start with a chain one. Then we will be working in that back bump. We will pull up a loop and we will do it six times. So again, start in that very first one. It can be kind of tricky, so you could turn your work as well. So here's the first one. Pull up a loop and let's continue down. We can then insert our hook into the same stitch, which is the first stitch, pull up one more loop. You will have eight hooks on the hook, sorry, eight loops on your hook, and then yarn over, pull through two, and we're gonna do this seven times. Let's start row three. Again, working in the back loop, we will go into the very first one, pull up a loop, and do this six times. We will then insert our hook into the next stitch, pull up one more loop. You will have eight loops on your hook. You will then yarn over, pull through two, and do this seven times.
we can then begin row four. It is actually a repeat. So again, working in the back bump or the back loop, we will pull up a loop and do it six times. We can then insert our hook into the same stitch, pull up one more loop, you will have eight loops on the hook, and then yarn over, pull through two, and you will do this seven times. We have now done four rows. We have two rows in the first stitch, two rows in the second stitch, and now we will do two more rows in the last stitch. So let's work on row five, working in the back loop. This is a repeat as well. Pull up a loop and do this six times. We can then insert our hook into the next stitch and pull up one more loop. Yarn over, pull through two, all the way to the top. We will now start row six. To make this row shorter, we will do a slip stitch into the first single crochet. We will then work in the back loop or bump and pull up one, two, three, four, and five. Insert our hook into that last stitch again, or the same stitch, pull up one more loop, and finish this row to the top. We have now finished our six rows. We have two rows in one, two in the next and two in the next. So we have used three stitches of our center of our flower. We can now finish this petal by doing a slip stitch into each stitch down the side. And then to finish the petal, we do one slip stitch into the same stitch. We have now finished our first petal for our daisy. So you can see here that we've used three stitches. We will continue with our next petal and we're gonna use the next three stitches. So let's start this one by doing a slip stitch into the next stitch. And from here we start again with a chain five. I'm going to show you one more petal a little quicker this time. Insert your hook into the back of the chain, pull up a loop, and do this five times. Thank you. 
insert your hook into the starting stitch, pull up one more loop, yarn over, and pull through two until you reach the top. To start row two, we will start with a chain. Again, inserting into that back bump, pulling up a loop all the way to the bottom. Going back down into the starting stitch, pulling up that extra loop and finishing to the top for row two. Starting row three, we will just start in that very first stitch and work our way down. Row three will connect into the next stitch over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two to finish row three. We will now repeat row three. For row 5, we will repeat row 3 again. This time though, we will go over into the next stitch to finish this row. For row six, we will start with a slip stitch in the first stitch. To finish the outside of the petal, we will do slip stitches down the side. Finish by slip stitching into that last stitch, slip stitch over, that's the first stitch of the next petal. 
We've now finished two petals. Let's make three more petals and I will see you at the end to show you how to join. Here I've just finished my last petal, but we will also do a slip stitch into the very first one. So let's just go into that one and finish off with a slip stitch. We can then leave a long tail because we will need that to stitch onto your next project. You can then cut your yarn. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed making this crochet daisy as much as I have. I can't wait to show you how to attach it onto our beautiful crochet bucket hat. See you in the next video. Bye.